I'm Gary, M0TIG, uh, here at Martin Nitch & Sons. Um, today I'm going to talk about the, um, the Zoom, um, Zoom Spot uh, little board there. The little white circuit board is the Zoom Spot. Underneath here is a Raspberry Pi Zero, um, that is the W, uh, H, W meaning uh, Wi-Fi, and the H is just the header is pre-soldered. Pre -soldered. Um, what you do is you simply install these white, um, these white standoffs, they simply screw into the bottom board, there's no nuts on there, it's quite a tight fit, you just, just screw them through and they act as little feet. Okay, once that's done, you can then just screw your antenna on, like so. Take the card that we've actually given you here with the pre-installed PiStar software on, and that simply plugs into the Pi Zero, like so. Um, and then you just um, provide some, uh, uh, just a standard uh, USB power source with the, like the mini uh, USB on. That will actually then boot up and actually start its own um, Wi-Fi um, kind of hotspot, which you, you basically log into. Um, and all the login details and stuff are in the, the instructions that are on our website. Um, you log into that, follow those instructions, and it will guide you through setting up the, the Wi-Fi um, connection. It's a very simple process. You only have to do that once. From that point on, once you switch this on, it will log on to your home Wi-Fi or maybe if you've got a personal hotspot on your mobile phone, whatever it might be, that will actually do that. Um, you, to set this up or get everything configured, you quite simply log into the PiStar um, web server, which is now loaded onto the, the Zero. Um, and there are lots of videos and instructions available actually either on YouTube or if you go directly to the PiStar um, website and, and those guys are, are really fab, they're doing all this stuff for free um, and once you've actually used PiStar you'll just realise just how good that, that program is. Um, you can configure it to do all sorts of things and it, it covers lots and lots of different modes it will even cross mode. It will do just about you know just about anything you want it to do. It's it's a it's a jolly uh, interesting piece of software. Um, these things are available from stock. Um, they are um, I say I think they at the moment I think they're about 100 and 129 pounds at the time of doing this video. Um, it's absolutely fab value and great fun. It's just a it's a really interesting. Um, little piece of hardware um, and I thoroughly recommend it. I've actually been using one of these now for, for quite a while and, and very impressed. In fact Jonathan and Tony have both bought one so um, I think that speaks volumes. Um, and the guy that actually designed this along with them is, uh, is Jim um, and uh, somebody else there was uh, that did the filtering for this is Carlos I think it is. Um, and those guys have worked really hard on, on getting this product done big thumbs up to them because it's just it's a fab product. Okay the other thing that we do from from Zoom is um, I mean obviously you can recognize this as a, as a Pi 3 and this isn't the plus or anything like that this is just a straightforward Pi 3. On the top here there's a white board which is the Zoom radio board. Now this is a very clever piece of kit. Um, using the same software as we used in the Zoom Spot you can actually control an, a whole radio. So you can actually have your own sort of reasonable power sort of um, uh, gateway for those of us that have got, say, you know, maybe you've got a little bit more of space on your premises um, that you just need that, just that little bit of power. Um, you can actually run, you know, a radio or even two radios and create like a, a repeater system. This will actually um, also control the DR1s and possibly the DR2 Yaesu repeaters um, and enable these radios to do D-Star, uh, DMR, um, C4FM, just about everything. And that's coming from one radio that is just on FM. Incredible. All the filtering in, on this is just is, is fab um, and they are auto-sensing. So you basically install this forget about it, you've configured the software, um, which again is, like I say, is PiStar. Um, once this software is configured and it receives a signal, it works out what system it's actually listening to and then goes into that, that mode. Um, very, very clever. 
Um, we've been using this a little bit actually over the last um, probably sort of a couple of couple of weeks, um, and we're really impressed with it. It's very very good. When you buy those boards, the board actually comes on its own. Um, unfortunately, you are expected to have some technical knowledge um, on getting this going. Um, we're trying to provide as much detail as possible um, for those guys that are willing to, to have a go. Um, they come with um, obviously a little, uh, um, little adapter here, which you then have to um, wire off into, a, into your own cable. Now what I've done here is I've just used a, a simple CT39A and then converted it with the CT164, I think that is, um, for the FTM100, um, or it'll even work with FTM400. Um, brilliant stuff. We, again, we have these in stock. Not sure what the price they are, but you can always go to the website. I will be adding those um, probably this week. Um, now we've actually got a little bit more information for you guys. Um, that pretty much sums it up, I think, for the, for the Zoom um, range of things that we've got at the moment. There are new products on their way from Zoom. Um, and again, they look absolutely fab and look really, really good. So um, looking forward to when they're actually made available to the um, general public. So that just leaves me really just to say thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.